what's going on YouTube it's that time I wanted to do a, a month of April 2017 recap um, I like to do the recaps just to share with everybody my pickups and also you know it uh, works as a quick visual reference for myself when I can go back and kind of just see when and what I have picked up in the last few months so it's uh, my second month back and I uh, was still it was another real good month for myself and uh, let me share with you what I got. And I apologize for the shakiness of the camera, but I will be walking around with this thing. So I'll try my best to keep, hold it still. I'm just going to start on one end and work my way around. So what I'm going to start with here, um, I have uh, my winning from Coin Couch, My NGC 30th Anniversary 1987 Eagle. was real happy to get that. Over here you can see my Atlantis Mint 5 ounce anniversary bar. Um, was really happy with this one. Of course I got number one if you didn't catch my video. So I was really happy with that. 250 of those. And I just picked up some random pieces as well from them. I do enjoy their silver and uh, we'll pick some up from time to time. Over here I have some really cool pieces from Rick's Metalworks. A gentleman that I found on Instagram. Um, got a couple different lions here. And of course, if you haven't seen uh, my video, um, I got the big Colt Python there. And of course, my favorite, um, the Tommy Gun. Triple Nine Fine Silver. Just some neat pieces. You know, um, kind of fun purchases. That's what those are. Um, down here, we have the Beautiful Pour uh, by A.G. Ender. 7.22, State of Michigan, Wood Pour. Did an absolute phenomenal job on that. He's killing it with these. Um, he does such a, just an awesome job. Here's just a couple random coins I had thrown here. Uh, 73 Barbados. I didn't have this in any of the videos. But it's got some real interesting toning on it. Um, real beautiful shape. I believe this is the matte one. It's a lower mintage on that one. It's kind of nice. Here's one a lot of you will appreciate. It's a 1947 um, Full Balboa. Real nice condition there. was happy to have that. Now that CCT has me collecting coins, of course I'm going to be picking up quite a few more coins. Down here we have the Multitude of Fertitude, Sales Fertitude Round. Still real happy with that one. That's a great one. Um, continuing along the bottom here. Um, a friend of mine on YouTube finally talked me into picking up <laughs> at least one of each of the Queen's Beasts. So... I do have one of each. The quality on these aren't great, but it's a fun, it's it's, it's just going to be a fun one to collect. I'm just getting one of each just for my own personal collection. Um, if they spot, they spot. I'll just have fun with it. And then up here, you can see the five um, Thinian Owls from New Way. Um, picked up a few of those. Yes, I have those in the airtights because I have I've mentioned before a large stockpile of air tights that I got for real cheap. Um, here we have two kilo grab bags from YPS. Um, very cool pieces. Lots of cool pieces. Lots of dead silver there. Cool skulls. 100 gram pieces. You know, out of all that, I think I really like the dead silver the best. Um, but there are quite a few cool pieces. This one might be my new desk piece. I might throw this one out to see what kind of toning I can get on this. Five ounce dragon head. I think that'll be kind of cool. All right, where are we at next here? Here I have a piece from the Colonel. Um, uh, this is one eyed Pete's cousin here. <laughs> Kurt, Colonel, um, I have another one that's kind of similar to this. But uh, just another cool uh, antique piece by the Colonel. Very nice. And uh, down here we have 10 of the swans. I got in on those um, fairly early. So those will just end up in my stack. I'm going to sit on those for a while. I'm not too worried about flipping those. I'm not really a flipper, guys. Um, let's see. Here, I didn't make a video on these either. Um, this is kind of my expensive, you know, uh, premium that I pick up. I do enjoy the Pamp Lunar Series. I get all three sizes. I was just trying to catch up on this one. Um, I'll, I didn't make a video on these, but I really do enjoy them. When I get the roosters, I'll probably pull them all out and... Um, share them with you guys. I'm just waiting for a good price on the roosters right now. They just want ridiculous amount on them. And I know they're already high on premium, but still, I'll wait for a couple more places other than Atmex to get them so the prices come down some. And what else am I missing here? Of course, my favorite pickups 
over the last month was my trade with Cyber Curtain Twitcher. If you haven't seen our videos yet, go check them out. It was a real cool trade. Um, this is the bullion I got from them, and the rest are coins. So we've been discussing coins and having a good time chatting, CCT. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate it. So let's take a look. Um, here, this one's not silver, but a very cool piece nonetheless. One of my very, very favorite pieces here with the cartwheel. Um, if you guys haven't checked these out in person or hold, held one of these things, go to your local coin shop and see if they got one because these are just absolutely awesome. All right, so here I'm just going to kind of give you a quick over of the coins. Try not to shake too bad. In this video, I don't want it to be too long, but I don't want to miss any of these. But there's a good close-ups of all these in my video too, guys. I just want to share that with you. I believe this is pretty much all my pickups for this last month. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. But uh, it's about it's about just about 120 ounces there, guys. Um, so about 400 ounces in the last two months. Been hitting it kind of hard. Um, I probably, you know, I just purchase consistently, guys. I look for good deals. If I see good deals, I'll continue to pick up. If I don't, I won't. Um, now that I've been getting into coins a little bit more, I'll probably have more coin pickups instead of just bullion unless I see good deals. You know, I, I try to set a plan, but the price of metals, it pretty much sets what I'm doing. Um, I don't really pick one thing to go out after. Basically, I sit back and I wait for the deals to come to me. Um, just learn patience. Obviously, I have some fun purchases like the pant bars and uh, community silver. But uh, in general, I try to stay lower premium with, with a chance of, you know, return in the future. But I appreciate everybody checking it out. There it is once again, guys. And uh, thanks for stopping by.